And now, give a great big hand for the class of 2019 valedictorian, John Lewis. Life moves pretty fast. If you don't stop and look around once in a while, you could miss it. Good evening, Dr. Labby, Dr. Shadiak, Mr. Glock Malloy, members of the Board of Education, Mr. Brown, Mr. Rubino, the high school administration, teachers, family, and friends, and of course, students gathered here tonight for a celebration of several war memorials, graduating class of 2019. Wow. What an amazing four years. Four years of hard work, commitment, and overcoming challenges. From facing seemingly monstrous obstacles to battling armies of crowded hallways. Nonetheless, I am thankful for all of it, and all of you should be as well. Even so, a great journey is still to come. There's a moment for everything. As a basketball player all my life, a new moment was established every day from off-season workouts to practice to game days. It was an uphill road, all to fight for the logo on our jerseys, the several bombers. A whole community at our backs, carried by a unified team that worked together for a common goal. At times, the fight was a mental challenge due to the demands of balancing academics, playbooks, scouting reports, and pre-game jitters. Other times, the fight was literal, playing in a toxic environment in Asbury Park or bench clearings against Colonia. And trust me, it was totally unexpected at times. Yet we are always ready to take a stand. But that's exactly it. Moments are sporadic. No matter our preparation, sometimes you can't just see what's next. For most of us here today, our future is, unrelatively, is relatively uncertain. Yes, we know that we are either going to a college, a trade, the workplace, or another option after high school, but we do not necessarily know how it is going to pan out. Our past moments have culminated to the celebratory moment after four years of fighting on this team, and now we must continue to stand together. The fight continues as we must be the solutions to vast world problems that continue to remain unsolved. Life doesn't stop for you, and sometimes it is blurry, kind of like my Android phone. The finished product that we see has much more work put into it. This moment here took four years of high school, but with many other life lessons before and scattered in between. Truly, these values that I'm about to share defines us as humans and as bombers, which is way beyond academics. And that's coming from a borderline nerd. B, read an imaginative storyline, boycott and believe. I could have said my speech in a straightforward way, but where's the fun in that? Where's the intellectual creativity that is shallow in many areas of the world which are blinded to our surroundings? That said, be creative, bet on yourself, be dangerous, tell your story however you want, and stand up for what you believe in, because it is your moment. Oh. Overcome obstacles, oversee the overanalyzed, over and over again. Life is a revolving door. It will keep you going in circles, swallowing you up and spitting you out. Nothing is easy and nothing truly gets easier. I had to keep improving in basketball and not only in skill, but competitive, competitiveness and leadership, just as we all must grow from failure. But more importantly, be humble. No matter how much you accomplish, no one likes entitlement. M, make your bed. Speak volumes into the little things. As Admiral William H. McRaven once said, when you wake up, make your bed. Because in the first day of the goal, the first day, the first goal of the day is accomplished. And then bigger goals will follow suit. It takes work to make an impact, no matter how minuscule. And even if the day does not go as planned, at least you come home to a made bed. B, be on time because that is commitment to character. Everything is a rush. We rush to get to class. We rush to conclusions. We rush to go to bed. In fact, busy is the new cool. Even so, 
be on time. Learning from sports, 15 minutes early is on time, and on time is late. Just remember to save some time for yourself and to take it all in. E, earn your place and do everything it takes to move up. We entered high school as freshmen, clueless and naive. Now, we exit as adults, independent and free, yet still naive, only to start the process of being the new young guys again, either at college or work. Life is a total and pole game. We all have moved up from freshman year, and we must continue to do so. Truly, it is easier to lose everything and harder to move up, as there's always someone that, knocks, that wants to knock you off that perch. But strive to be better than the last generation. R, respect, relationships, and roots. I could not have done anything by myself. Thank your parents, your teachers, your mentors, your family and friends. At times, you, you won't know what direction you want to go, so ask for advice. Family over everything, because family is everything. Relationships mean the world, no matter if it's to people or to culture. And never forget your roots. Always remember where you came from, how you grew up, and who supported you, whatever you go on to do. To my mom and my dad, Tommy, William, and Joseph, I love you 3,000. S, scared money, don't make money. First things first, I usually don't talk like that. Getting this line stemmed from a boardwalk game, from coercion of a great salesman that said the only way to win was to play the game. And boy, that salesman made quite the dollar for me that day. You don't know what you got until it's gone. Again, in my case, money. But truly make the mundane moments mon monumental. Take risk, play the game, and take time to experience the moment. To cap it off, your story does not end here. Our story, our moment, is only taking form. Problems will come, leaders will be needed. But keep working, keep fighting for one another. And never forget that. Thank you, and congratulations to the class of 2019.